what do winemakers do in the winery to get the most flavor and beautiful silky textures in the wine. Here to talk about yeast, fining, and surly is David Ramey. We have the yeast, whether they're commercial in many wineries, instance, or, or native in our case. And then after the fermentation, those yeast are still suspended in the wine. And if, if it's a white Chardonnay or any kind of white wine, we barrel ferment it, all the yeast is in there. But with red wines, when we drain and then we go to barrels the next day, there's still a lot of yeast entrained in the wine. And we leave those in the barrel because they add some textural uh, smoothness and some, like uh, some complexity. Almost a creaminess, yes, exactly. And filtration. Filtration doesn't have to harm a wine, strip a wine, but it often can. If we don't filter, I think we're impacting the wine less and we have a, a more of a living wine, a living product, a living food in your bottle and then in your glass. Now, we could talk a little about the difference between fining and filtration if one wanted. Okay. Be because both of these wines were fined with fresh egg white. I think three egg whites per barrel in the case of the Pinot Noir and four egg whites per barrel in the case of the Syrah. This is very traditional. Of course, I worked in Bordeaux. I was trained in Bordeaux. Egg white for red wine is the way that you clarify it and smooth the palate a little bit so that it finishes the wine. It like polishes the wine on the way into the bottle. The egg whites attract the proteins that are in the wine. Well, it's, re it's the reverse. The egg whites are proteins and then they're in a, a tannic medium like wine and so you have hydrogen bonding between the protein of the egg white and the tannin which is negatively charged and so it, they take out some of the tannin from the skins as well as maybe some of the tannin from any uh, new barrels that were used. The analogy I use is judicious traditional fining agents are like triple aught steel wool on a fine piece of wood furniture. It doesn't change the shape of the chair, it just polishes it. It's so smooth. Yeah, and that, again, that smoothness is something that I prize, particularly in the Pinot Noir, but really all of our, even our Cabernets, all of our wines. Thank you, David, for telling us how you get the most flavor, the most texture into your Pinot. Ah, uh, thank you. Texture is so important. It's, it's, I mean, really, I don't care if it's apples or bananas, but does it feel good? And this Pinot feels great. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Uh, cheers.